Good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this Dad Rouse stream on the Class 390 Pendolino on the West Coast Mainline South. This stream will be starting at 20.45 in 15 minutes time. 15 minutes for the start of the stream. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Welcome to the Dad Rouse stream on the Class 390 Pendolino on the West Coast Mainline South. We will be starting at 20.45 in approximately 10 minutes time.
We are just five minutes away from the start of the stream, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to drag, grab yourself a drink and other light refreshments are recommended and share this stream with all your friends or any groups you may be in. Let's see if we can get a few people in tonight. Five minutes to go and we will be starting the stream.
Good evening everybody, welcome to another stream with me, Richard, aka Dadbrow. How are we all doing this evening? It's been a week or so since the last stream, so uh, I had a night off, so I thought, why not? Let's jump in and, uh, and give one a go. So we're going to be doing the West Coast Main Line South tonight, um, London, Euston, all the way out to Birmingham New Street on the 390 Pendolino, uh, with the Armstrong Powerhouse Pack installed, which makes the train quite a lot better <laughs> in my opinion uh, the thumbnail is a little misleading and I didn't realize it till I was looking back at it it does say in the thumbnail um, train sim world this is not train sim world it's train sim classic I'll clear that up right at the start I will change the thumbnail um, at the end of the video so people watching it back will not be misled so we're gonna have all of our usual features in the uh, <laughs> he said I haven't done one for a long time. We're going to have all our usual features in the stream tonight. We're going to be jumping in and out the Discord server live stream pictures page. So you can post whatever you want to in there. And we're also going to be playing Let's Play Locomotive Livery Location. We've got a good picture for you in there tonight. Um, I can't remember who sent this one in. And I did try and go through all my messages and find out. But I couldn't find the person that sent this in. So... Um, if we're doing the reveal and you suddenly realise it's your picture, then do pipe up and say something, and I'm really sorry for not, not being able to give you credit at the start. So, as always, guys, before we jump into the stream, I've got to tell you that all the opinions expressed within this video are sold in my own, blah, 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 and all that good stuff that I have to tell you so I don't get sacked. <laughs> right, let's jump into the game, which I have preloaded, put the game audio on, and press continue. Mumrail's looking at me. She wants to say something. She'll have to wait a minute. Right. <laughs> oh, my briefing's gone. Right, never mind. Let's try and get this train set up. I did have a play with this earlier, so hopefully... Ah, Nationwide! Thank you very much. Oh, <laughs> congratulations on two yards. I'll, uh, I'll tell everyone what that's about in a minute. Let's get the train started up, and then I'll jump into the chat and see if I can't answer some of your questions. So, day running... Lights are set. Uh, green signals to DRA can go off. Let's get the doors open. Let's get the HUD up. Okay, so check we've got the line light on. Line volts are good. So I think that is about set up and ready to go. There we go, looking nice. So we are just waiting for time at London Euston. Let's have a quick check our schedule. We are stopping at Watford Junction, Coventry, Birmingham International and Birmingham New Street. So a nice, nice fast service. So Nationwide, thank you very much for your um, super chat as promised. In the Patreon only stream the other night, um, Mumrail had a little drive and she got an almost perfect stop. So... Oh, um, she got a gold medal, but Nationwide promised if she got an almost perfect stop that he would uh, do a super chat and he wouldn't let him do it in the Patreon stream. So, uh, yeah, thanks very much for that, bud. Appreciate that. Right. Okay, guys, it's taking ages before we depart. So, in the meantime, let's press this button here. Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. Wait for the guard signal and let's get going. Do I get a guard signal on this? Oh, there we go. Lovely. Look at that. Uh... Right, I didn't even turn the train on. That's a good start, isn't it? <laughs> right, let's try again. Right, we have a green signal. All these alarms going off. I'm just pressing buttons to cancel it. I don't fully understand the um, TASS safety systems or anything, so it's all just uh, blagging it at the moment. Right, what is going on with my chat? For some reason, my chat is not um, keeping up, so... There we go. Right, third number on my screen is... Ryan's Trains and Buses with number six. Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. Let's reveal what's behind box number six. There we go, guys. What are you thinking? Is that of any help to you? 
I have photoshopped out the sign, I will add, because there was some writing on the sign, but I photoshopped that out to make it a little bit more challenging. <laughs> Nationwide says make sure 100% of the profits go to the driver. <laughs> She, li she likes that idea. She likes that idea. <laughs> Peter Green sounds like a local radio station advert. It does, doesn't it? It's pretty good. There we go. Right. It's because I had a poll open on my chat. It wasn't showing me anything, so... Horse Lover, welcome to Dad Rail. New subscriber, you're very welcome here. Welcome to the stream. Right, we're good for 25. Let's get her moving. Yes, Peter, I believe this has got the speed speed monitoring system. And if I go too fast, it um, chucks the brakes in. So, do need to be careful with that. Johnny Simulated Gaming, Watford Junction 390, Pendolino. Could well be, could well be. Ryan's Trains and Buses. I don't know why I said this. Thanks all the same, bud. Really appreciated. Right, so we're... F Bit of a delay with the notification, but thanks again. Ryan, really appreciate that, bud. Uh, Richard the Train Spotter and more. How was work last night? Um, yeah, I had a little bit of a result, actually. I got home really early. I was on a de-icing train last night, free Yankee 90. I was supposed to go down the Brighton Main Line, which has been closed for the last nine days due to a possession. Um, it was supposed to be the first train back through there, proving the line. But um, they didn't get the line open in time, so I didn't have to go. Right, why am I getting no power? I am getting power, just not very much. I'm guessing that's because of the gradient. Yeah, LaserJet899, you can send in pictures for uh, locomotive location delivery obviously via the socials or on the uh, Discord server. I've got quite a few at the moment, so I've got uh, got quite a lot to choose from, but if you want to send them in, you are more than welcome to do so. I always get a bit worried when the game starts lagging. I'm just like, please don't crash, please don't crash. Train Sim and me don't have the best reputation for, uh, <laughs> for reliability by a country mile. Josh Churchill, thank you very much, bud. Awesome. Uh, Zonary Abyss. Zonary Abyss, I think your username is. Do you think you will ever stream a flight sim anytime soon? Um, I've got no plans to stream flight sim, but I do have plans either later on this year or early next year to get my private pilot's license, which is something I did start a little while ago, but had to give up because, to be honest with you, it's bloody expensive. Um, so, who knows? There may be there may be some uh, some flight vlogs at some point, and maybe some flights. I'll have to change the channel name though if I do that. Won't I? It won't be it won't be Dad Rail anymore. I have to be like I don't know the Flying Train Driver or something like that. <laughs> Davidoff, thank you very much, my friend. What is going on tonight? Uh, the Coventry Spotter. I don't want to say this, but you might crash. I always crash most of the time on this route halfway through. Oh, God, no. <laughs> uh, definitely don't want to be doing that if we can help it. Daniel, good evening, Dad Rao. How are you and Mum Rao doing tonight? I'll be back in a second. I need my mum to sort out Discord. It's not working. Yeah, we're doing well. Thank you, Daniel. Transport Gamer, hello, welcome to the stream. Crazy place, Dad Transport. Could be, could be. Who knows? So, 69 of you lovely people in tonight. If you haven't already, do please hit that like button and consider subscribing to Dad Rail. Dad Rail for now. That would be awesome. 69 is uh, a locomotive number I don't like, but it has just jumped to 73, which is a locomotive number I do rather like. 
ZLD Smogless. Um, I was listening back to one of my streams the other day, because I do sometimes watch them back because I'm a little bit sad like that. And uh, I noticed I keep pronouncing your username as ZLD for some reason. So, correcting that, ZLD. You should do the 350 next. We're on the donation train tonight. Daniel's train's official. Thank you very much. Right, we're good for 100. Coming up to uh, Queen's Park by the looks of it. Yeah, Transport Gamer. I've got... See if I've got this programmed in, because I, I am a little bit of a, a, a flight sim kind of... I wouldn't say... I'm sort of not a massive enthusiast of flight sim, but I've got... Um, yeah, I've got I've got a little bit of a flight sim setup going on. Half built. Looking quite nice. Got a lot to add to it yet. But, um, yeah, quite possibly. I'm, I'm currently using... Um, I haven't, I haven't played Flight Sim for a little while, but I was using Microsoft Flight Sim X, but Flight Sim 2020 or X-Plane uh, 12 is, I think, where I'm at at the moment. Oh, ZLD is what I prefer. Okay, we'll, we'll stick with that. Right, so we are coming round to the only bit of the West Coast Main Line that I sign, which is literally... That line there to the left. Doesn't even touch the West Coast Main Line, really. Place called Southwest Sidings. That takes you down to Acton Central and then eventually um, down to Kew and then onto the Southwestern Lines. Absolutely killing my frame rate at the moment. Right, 120. Let's get her going. Uh, Kenzie O'Callaghan, can train drivers listen to music while driving trains? Uh, no, you're not allowed any electrical devices in the cab um, whilst you're driving. So, unfortunately not. I, I personally think you should be allowed to. Because I think it, it helps with sort of distractions and stuff like that. So, I think if you're, you're feeling fatigued or you're feeling tired, the ability to you know, turn on a bit of music and pull down the window. Helps with that, but yeah, you're not allowed to. Mum Rao is summoning me. Right, coming up to Wembley Central. We are flying along. Nice 125. British Transport Simmer, have you ever gone through Gloucester Station or Cheltenham Spa? No, that's miles off my patch. I don't even think I've ever been through that area as a passenger, uh, to be completely honest with you. Uh, Davidoff, Dabrabbub, when are you coming to Exeter next? Uh... I've got no plans at the moment, but definitely I'll definitely be down that way this summer. Richard, do you know you'll be passing before Rugby, the old Great Central Line to Nottingham? Richard Ray, thank you very much. This is my alternate account. Collab soon on the Brighton Main Line. We will make that happen. We will make that happen for sure. Right, so keep me speed up, guys. Let's press this button here. Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. Uh, Lawrence, I'm going to be doing another Essex meetup with um, Richard the Train Spotter and more in the summer, probably up Manning Tree Way. Um, so, yeah, it'd be great if we could kind of get a few of us together. That'd be absolutely awesome. We are going through Hatch End, I want to say. Is that Hatch End or Harrow? That's Harrow, isn't it, that one? Lawrence.
Lance Adams, you are the third one in on my screen with number four. Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. Let's reveal what's behind box number four. Oh, I think there might be some telltales there, guys. Can you work it out from that picture? What are we thinking? We got a problem with the... Um, oh, I'm speeding. Am I? Only just. We got a problem with the overhead wires, guys. Are they loading in on the stream? They're um, they're on my they're on my screen. Okay, can you see them on the screen? Crazy plays thinks it is Coventry. One five six Andrew thinks it's Watford Junction. Johnny Simulator Gaming Watford Junction. Lots of love for Watford Junction. Rob FC Gaming, any plans to come to the newest city in the UK, aka South Summer? I should be going down to um, going down to Adventure Island with a family in South End. Do love a bit of Adventure Island. I do see South End quite a lot though, from the other side of the Thames. When we go to the um, 110 coming up, break, 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 break. Loads of room. Yeah, when we do the Isle of Grain branch, you can see across the Thames to South End, you can see the seafront lights. Bit of a swim across there, though. Yeah, George, it's just uh, just the sound pack I've got on the Pendolino at the moment. I am slowly building up a collection of enhancement packs and bits and bobs, but yeah, if you were to just go sort of through all the scenario requirements and download everything you need, you'd end up spending three, four, five hundred pounds on stuff. It'd get absolutely ridiculous. British Transport Simmer, what's the latest you've ever been on a real life service? I'm not entirely sure, to be completely honest with you. I've, I've never been sort of stuck out massively late on trains. We're supposed to stop at Watford Junction, aren't we? <laughs> That's never going to stop. That's never going to stop. Oh! <laughs> we were supposed to stop there. That's what you get for reading the chat. Oh, God. Bugger. <laughs> Brakes on this are not very good, are they? It's gonna it's gonna it's gonna chuck me out now. It's gonna chuck me out. What is the best way to handle this? If I set back, do you think the game's gonna gonna break on me? <laughs> oh, I think it was one of my videos I done a little while ago. How hard is it to drive a train? I think it was something like that. I I done a video on, and I think I mentioned going through Watford Junction and forgetting to stop. I think I actually meant specifically mentioned Watford Junction on that on that video. I've got a funny feeling because I've gone past the signal, it's going to, um, the signal's going to have gone back, so. It may flag me up as a spad. Yeah, let's just stop there, just to be on the safe side. Oh, Coventry Platform 3. Right, it's being forgiving by the looks of it. Right, we've done the Watford Junction stop. Moved. Game over error. Moved while door open. What? 
Welcome, Mind the Gap Productions, to Dad Rail. Um, we have failed already. <laughs> we have already failed. That is terrible. Right, we're going to start again. As, as we are only 10 minutes in, we'll start again. <laughs> uh, Matthew, I'm good, thank you. 156 Andrew, Jeremy Clarkson, famous word. How hard can it be? Yeah. <laughs> Stop at red ones, go at green ones. Def definitely tea and biscuits with the manager for that. Owen Sutton had been at Watford Junction after early morning chaos and seen a pendulum sail through because the driver hadn't given the additional stop order. Just like that. Yeah, it does happen. It does happen. Um, where you don't get given stop orders or the correct paperwork or whatever or your diagram's wrong and you end up going through stations. It it, it can and does happen. Right, key on. Cancel that. Lights on. Day running. Cancel that. Right, with green lights, we can take the DRA off. And open the doors. Right. Okay, we're going to have another go, and we're going to do it properly. Fail rail. ZLD. ZLD. Fail rail. <laughs> T's all over the train manager. First stop is Watford Junction. No, this is a fast train. First stop's now Coventry. Right. Let's have another go at that. Now for locomotive livery location. Let's have another go at that while we're waiting, shall we? What have we got going on over there? Nice busy scene at uh, at London Euston. Right, Johnny Simulator Gaming, uh, no sorry, Ryan's Trains and Buses, you are the third one on my screen with number six, so... Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. We've done number six, so we're going to jump down to the next one, which is Johnny Simulator Gaming with number five. Does that help you guys? Can you get anything else from that? Can you get anything else from that? Wait for the guard signal and let's get going. Right, we're definitely in forward this time, so hopefully this is going to work. Right, there is our guard signal. Uh, how do we repeat back to the guard? It's not B on this, is it? Um, no, B's horn. Never mind. Right, let's get going. We are 15 coming out of London Euston. I should I should be able to sign the route by the time I've done this. And we're going to get it right this time. Regularly saving, I think, is the, the, uh, the key thing. Let's get a bit of braking. Already speeding. Peter Green, as always, it's a good example of the dangers of distraction while driving. <laughs> like reading the chat. Yeah, I do find, Peter, if it's a route that I'm familiar with, so say I'm doing like the Brighton Main Line or something like that, which is a route I sign in real life and I'm familiar with, I'm really comfortable driving it, so my, my attention level can be a lot lower because I sort of know where I am, where I need to brake and what I'm doing, what my speeds are. So it's easier sort of reading the chat. But if you're relying on the heads-up display constantly, then it does it does become that little bit more difficult to maintain concentration. Uh, Tom Marsh, new subscriber, welcome to Dadrail. Uh, ZLD, did you ever get to drive? I won't say it because YouTube will take my 20p off me. Yeah, I've driven that loco quite a few times. Uh, the number on the Pendolino is not written on the inside. Let's have a look on the outside. 390122. Right, we're good for Furley. Let's get going. Hey, Joe, welcome to the stream, British Ace. How are we doing? 
I see you're streaming um, 9.45 this evening, I believe I saw you were streaming. I was hoping to be done by then, bud, but um, I've just had to restart. See if, I, see if I can do a bit better this time. Right, let's get some power in. We are good for 30. Really steep coming up here as well. Ah, oh, laser jet. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. One five six Andrew. That's my favourite Pendolino. Awesome. Yeah, I, I see. I'd like Pendolinos, and I know if I had the cho if I was going to Scotland and I could choose East Coast or West Coast, Pendolino or Zima. I think it'd have to be a Pendolino. Not of a choice between an HST. It'd be an HST, of course. But Pendolino or Zima. A Pendolino any day. What do you guys think, Pendolino or Zima? Matthew, what would you do if there was a fault with something on the train? For example, a safety system not working like AWS. So, Matthew, it depends on the exact circumstances of the failure. If, if a safety system's not working and you're leaving uh, a depot or something like that, then the train wouldn't be allowed to enter service. Depending on what the safety system is, um, I think AWS, for example, if that fails whilst you're in service, you detrain the passengers at the next suitable location. You can drive without AWS, subject to certain speed limits. Or if you've got a competent person in the cab, then you drive at higher speed limits. I should know what all the speeds are off by heart, but unfortunately I need to get my rulebook out and double check those. Um, I, think AW, I think it's 40 without a competent person with AWS and line speed with a competent person. But yeah, depending on what safety systems you've got isolated and what combination of safety systems you've got isolated sort of dictates... Um, how fast you're allowed to go and whether the train can stay in service or not. Right, so we're 55 then up to 80. Just going to leave that in notch 2. I believe this is called Primrose Hill Tunnel. Uh, going to have to say 225 over either set on the, uh, the 43s and the... Sorry, not the 43s, the Pendos and the Azumas. Oh, it seems like, seems like you guys prefer it. I mean, I haven't been for a ride on an Azuma, so it's a little bit unfair. But I do quite like the Pendos. Right, we're good for 80. ZLD, as an enthusiast, I prefer Azuma, but for a normal passenger like me, because I'm from Glasgow, and they are much smoother and quieter, the Pendolino. Fair enough. Ah, Sim Aviation, the Class 90, but of course. If that, if that was an option. Right, Blob says, Dadra, when should you apply an emergency brake? I was on a 156 when two people were fighting on a crossing, but got off just in time. The train didn't apply the brake. Um, could be that the driver didn't see them in time. It, it could be for a number of reasons. Something like that. If you've got good visibility on the crossing and you think the people are going to get clear, then you'd probably leave it. It's, it's kind of just down to your own judgment, really, but... Yeah, a bit, little bit of a difficult one, that. If I'm sort of coming up towards a crossing and I see someone crossing, you know, if, if I think they're going to get out of the way, I'm not going to go and chuck the brake on. Um, but likewise, if I saw someone standing there being a bit of an idiot, I'd probably blow my horn a couple of times and then chuck the brake on. So, yeah, it just, just depends on the individual circumstances. Peter Green, I'd prefer an AP team. Never had the pleasure, Peter, unfortunately. bit before my time. Steve Kidding about music, welcome to the stream. Yeah, myself and Mum Rail are very well, thank you. Right, so we're going through the tunnel, we're up to 100 then 105. Watford Junction's 12 miles away, I am going to stop at it this time. 
Add duck. What to do if you overshoot a station a bit? Yeah, it's a good question, uh, add duck. Depends on the exact circumstances of the overshoot. In some circumstances, the signalman may allow you to set back into the platform, so you would um, get authority change ends and set back into the platform. If you've only put like one coach off or two coaches off, then you can, on modern trains like the Pendolino, for example, I'm sure you could, um, certainly on 375s you could, then you can manually, on the computer screen, on the uh, TMS, you can lock out the doors on those coaches that have overshot the platform and then just release the ones that are on the platform. Inevitably, it'll still be tea and biscuits with your manager regardless. Um, but obviously, it wouldn't inconvenience the passengers quite so much. Yeah, I'm getting no overhead lines on uh, train sim now, guys. We were saying about that earlier. The overhead lines have completely disappeared for me on the screen. Yeah, faster Coventry, no. <laughs> faster Coventry after Watford Junction. Right, we're good for 120. Let's get her going. And then 125. George, definitely a flat rail after that emergency stop. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> she'd, uh, she'd be banging away nicely now with flats on the wheels. So let's jump into the Discord server, guys. See what you lovely people have been posting over there. ZLD, ZLD, best named loco ever. And we've got some network round minions there. If you want to post in the Discord server, guys, you can do. There's an invitation link in the description below. And we are in the live stream uh, picture section. As we come through Wembley Central. Love the lighting effects there. That's really good. I do like this route. I think this route's been, been very well done. Other than the fact it the sky keeps kind of bugging out a little bit. That's a bit annoying. But, uh, yeah, generally speaking, I think this, I think this route's really nice. Uh, the overhead lines don't always work around Wilsdon Junction. Uh, British Ace is a glitch with this route, mate. Also, the FPS is something to do with this route. Yeah, I'm getting about 25 at the moment, which is not great. Right, keeping an eye on that distance to Watford. Peter Green, 125 must seem like light speed to a freight driver. Six, 66 is pretty fast when you're going home. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> James Chick, hey man, sorry to post this again. My connection was going mental and I was buffered out. But I have a quick question for you, if that's okay. Yeah, post away, bud. If I can answer it, I will do. 156 Andrew, Richard, what the term of a train is too long of the platform? Not quite getting what you mean there, bud. Right, checking that, five miles. <laughs> Big wheel, I've only been on a Zuma once and that was in first class. Never been on a Pendolino. Would love to go on one, but still probably would prefer a Zuma's. Uh, blob at DadRail. Would experience in rail engineering help when applying to be a driver? Yeah, most definitely. Any any sort of experience you've got in the industry previously will definitely definitely go some way to helping. Uh, Daniel, the poll that I put in the chat, I'm not entirely sure. I had to end the poll because it was blocking out my chat window, and for some reason the chat wasn't scrolling down automatically. So I will have a quick look um, at it once the stream ends. It'll give me should give me the results. Uh, Revo, would you recommend becoming a train driver at a young age like 21? Yes and no. 
If that's what you want to do, then go for it, is what I would say. But the trouble is, train driving can be a relative dead, a relatively sort of dead-end job. There's not a great deal of places you can go from it. You can go into management, you can go into sort of training if you want to. Um, there's, there's not kind of a, a great deal of options from where you go. And because the, the kind of the salary you get as a train driver, I mean, it's, it's well publicised that train driver salary is quite tasty. It's not, it's not as good as what they make it out to be, though. I will add that bit. But, um, you know, if you kind of wanted to change jobs and go into a different role, you might be taking quite a large pay cut. So sometimes that can be quite difficult. So although there's nothing wrong with going into driving at, at 21, and I do know I'm stopping at Watford and I have got a bit of break in, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with going into driving at 21. My, personally, I would say from, from my experience, go and have a look around the industry and see what other jobs are on offer. Go and, you know, give other things a go before you commit to driving. Yeah, everyone's telling me not to forget Watford. We're, we're well in for that, guys. I'm not doing that again. Blob, not really a dead-end job if it's a dream job for some people. Yeah, no, I completely get what you're saying, Blob, and it was definitely a dream job for me. But 40 years in, potentially 40 years in the same job is a very long time. And whilst from the outside it might appear like a dream job and you know and I do really enjoy my job I'm not not gonna make no qualms about that but you know it's, it's also 40 years doing the same job it can get very repetitive and the novelty of driving a train can wear thin pretty quick I mean I really really enjoy my job don't get me wrong and I do enjoy driving trains but you know some days you're just not feeling it some days you, you kind of think I don't want to do this anymore so yeah, once you're doing something day in, day out, and it becomes a chore, not a hobby, it, the whole kind of circumstance, your circumstances change a little bit, and your thought process changes a little bit. But no, definitely go for it. <laughs> we've got cats fighting in our in our garden, by the sounds of it. We've got the window cracked open a bit to get some air in, and there's cats fighting outside. Right, Watford Junction, we are a... I think we were a nine-car set, weren't we? That sky bugging out is really annoying. Coming in way too slow now, being overly cautious. I'm just going to stop at the end of the platform. Oh, 8, 10. Let's go a little bit further. Come on. Too many stop car marks. Lovely London buses going across the top there. Way We managed to stop at Watford Junction. Hey! <laughs> I feel like I need a lot of round of applause thing going on. Right, and my doors are... Yeah, mum rouse clapping. That's good enough. Mum rouse clapping. <laughs> okay, guys, right. Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. Oh, just trying to keep up with the chat here as well. Uh, Daniel Emerson, thanks for joining us, bud. Uh, crazy Plays, my most favourite... Tram. Uh, uh, I'm not very good with trams. I do like trams. I'd love to be a tram driver. I'd really like to be a tram driver. That'd be cool. James Chick. Sorry, mate. Here's the question. There's a careers fair at the LEC in Brum this weekend, and I was wondering, as a, as a dreaming anorak, any chance Tox would be there? Many thanks, and sorry to the chat. Um... I've got no idea, to be fair, if there's going to be uh, tox there. Quite possibly. Quite possibly. Right, I'm going to pause the game because I'm not sure what's going on with that at the moment. Daniel's Trains UK official, you're the third one on my screen with number seven. Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. Oh, I've got a feeling that one box has just kind of given the whole game away. What are we thinking? What are we thinking, guys? I mean, it could be... It could be one of two trains, couldn't it? It's not necessarily the one you're thinking of. It could be one or two. It could be one or two. Right. What I want to know is have my doors shut. 
I've got door interlock light there. I'm going to save this, actually. And I'm going to have a look outside. Right, my it looks like my doors have shut. But I haven't had a guards buzzer, so that's a little bit strange. But let's see what happens. Oh, it hasn't pulled me up, so we must be doing something right. Right, good for 110. We're off to Coventry in 76 miles. That's a long time to forget what station I'm going to... To forget what station I'm supposed to be stopping at and overshoot it. Right, let's go. 319 at Watford Junction. LNWR 319 at Watford Junction. British Ace is a glorious train. It might be a 769 though. It could be a 769, you never know. C back to the guards. There we go. I was looking for that button earlier on. Uh, crazy place. What do you think of the ironing board seat trains? AK 700 707 717. Yeah, ironing board seats. Not good. Not good. Uh, Miles Price. What does the horn on the 390 sound like? Uh, a bit like this. <laughs> Not a bad sounding one. Crazy place. Would you say that tram drivers have a harder job than a train driver? Um, I, th I think it's a different. I think it's a different skill set. To be honest with you, and I've even I've commented on this before. Sort of train drivers, sort of between freight train, high speed train, um, local sort of stopping suburban train services. I think they're they're very unique skill sets. All of them. They they all carry their own risks and kind of need their own their own skill sets most definitely. Sort of high speed like this, your your risk is obviously you've got long periods of time in the cab where you're not doing anything. Um, especially with speed set like you've got on this, the speed goes up to 125. You can knock your speed set on. It's really easy to get distracted because potentially you're not doing anything. You'd be surprised with the AWS and the green signals and the ping. Eventually that becomes background noise. So I think I think your skill set there's kind of knowing when to bring yourself back. Likewise with, with suburban services, it's very, very intense with the signalling, so your concentration level's got to be elevated all the time. Um, I think freight driving... Uh, <laughs> freight driving, I would say train handling on freight driving, uh, driving heavy freight trains. You need to be a bit more precise with your train handling, and there's a bit more skill involved in, in the actual driving side of it. But again, you've got kind of combination of the things there because you could be going miles and miles and miles on a freight train doing 60 70 miles an hour on green signals working a lot of nights and stuff so i think i think all different types of driving have their own disciplines there's, there's obviously a lot of crossovers but i think they all they all kind of need their own skill set uh, alex burns just got off the just got off the birmingham nw street new street train in real in the real world J J J J J J I Gaming. Dad Row, you should play SCR Stepford County Railway and Robot. Oh, everyone's loads of people have been asking me to do that. Small chopper tram driving is more akin to bus driving than train driving. I've heard from a former tram driver. I would I would love to have a go on a tram. I would really love to drive a tram. I I, I just kind of like that idea of being on a road but being on a track if that makes sense I, I'd really like to have a go at driving a tram I was watching some videos the other day on tram simulator and I was tempted to um, this, it was about £35 and for what it is I thought it was a bit overpriced so I might wait until the steam sale comes up and see if it's reduced but uh, yeah be quite interested to have a play at that Big Will, when I'm older I really want to become a train driver, I'm 14 now, my dad recommends that I do train manager, station manager, etc, just to get some knowledge of the rail industry. I would say your dad's a very wise man, Big Will, uh, that would definitely be my, um, that would definitely be my advice as well. Start on the railway and other grades, work through the grades, then it gives you a really good, really good understanding of how the railway works. If you come onto the railway as a driver, and there's nothing wrong with coming onto the railway as a driver, 
but sometimes you can almost get tunnel vision, <laughs> pardon the pun, because you're focused on your train and what you're doing. And if you haven't done other jobs on the railway, sometimes you don't have that understanding of what other people are doing and why they're doing it. So by, by having done those jobs, it, it gives you a really good sort of base knowledge. So when the, what are we cancelling for, 60 to the right? When the dispatcher's gone off to do something or the platform staff's not there or the train manager's doing this, you know, you'll understand why they're doing it and the reasons behind it because you've done that job yourself. You know, when, when you get the train back to the depot and the shunter doesn't take you off, you know, you're going to have a bit more of an understanding as to the pressures that they're under and the challenges that they face in their, their roles as well. Blob, would you say knowledge in computing is useful in driving? LNER is currently hiring train drivers at Newcastle and they mentioned GCSE grades in ICT are desirable. Uh, I think a lot of, I think it's a lot of jobs in general, you know, you will be given an iPad and you'll be expected to use uh, email and report writing software and document reading and bits and bobs. So yeah, you do need, shut off for the neutral section, yes, you do need some sort of uh, IT qualifications. A lot of people in the chat tonight, guys. 89 of you lovely people watching. If you haven't already, please do hit that like button and consider subscribing. That would be awesome. 115 coming up. Again, a little bit of break in for that. Try and get a half decent score if I can on this. The Angel of Crew. Good evening, Dad Row and everyone in the chat. Good evening. Bassett's 86 trains, welcome to the stream. What have you missed? Um, well, you missed. Well, it doesn't matter what happened at the beginning. <laughs> we, we had a tea and biscuits moment at the beginning, but we're doing all right now. Someone failed to call at Watford Junction. Right, 125. Uh, 156, Andrew, I'm not entirely sure. I believe there might be a. Bletchley to Bedford line or something like that. Uh, Sim Aviation, how do you know when you're approaching a neutral section? Um, You'll have a black sign with white bars on it, tell you to tell you to warn you of the neutral section coming up. Then you'll have the reverse of that. You'll have a white sign with black bars on it to tell you you're going through the neutral section. I may have just got those the wrong way around, but bear in mind in real life I don't drive AC traction. So <laughs> if I have got that the wrong way around, then I do apologise. Hello, colleague on London Midland train. Monty Burns Gaming, hello, welcome to the stream. Oh, JJR Gaming, really sorry to hear that. My thoughts are with you. Yeah, big wheel. That was quite an overrun. That was uh, that was that was that was a fair old overrun. Right. Let's see if I can get this speed set to work. So I think that's that should be doing its thing now. Right. My scroll wheel is still really funky. I need to replace. <laughs> there we go. Definitely need to get a get a new mouse. I keep saying it. Okay, guys, right, nothing coming up on the heads-up display, so... Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. Nationwide, did you know Glasgow Underground is the only third rail line in Scotland? I did not know that. 
Laserjet, Dadra, when is the next Train Sim World 2 stream because of Creators Club? I haven't done any streams on Creators Club. I don't know if I will. It's kind of... It's not up my street, if you know what I mean. The kind of Creator Club thing, the livery design and scenario planning. But we, we may do, we may do. Right, the Angel of Crew, you are the third one on my screen with number four. Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. We've had number four, so we go to Nationwide, number 11. What are we thinking, guys? I think quite a few of you have already, already got this one in the bag. Yeah, speed set's holding us lovely there, 124. George, what are the white signs with a yellow bar with arrows in it? Saw them when I went to Scotland. George, I believe you're referring to what is known as a fixed distant. So it's a white square board. It has a yellow bar through it and the yellow bar kind of has like a chevron arrow on it. And that is the same as a distant semaphore signal. So that that is the same as a one yellow, uh, a one yellow signal. It's called a fixed distant. So if you go past that, you have to assume your next signal's red. Sometimes they're used approaching um, buffer stops on like if you've got a single line um, rather than having a signal and then the buffer stops at the end of the line you'll have a fixed distance signal so you just have one of those boards um, and then obviously the buffer stop is the red signal so yeah I believe that's what you're referring to. Bassett's Trains 319 Watford Junction Crazy Place 769 Watford Junction 799 319 lots of love for Watford Junction Uh, Sim Aviation, what do you get in the enhancement pack for the 390? Uh, it certainly sounds a lot better on the 390. I'm not sure exactly what you get. I believe you get lots of kind of... Um, I believe there's more cab, cab functionality like this this uh, TASS system. As far as I know, that doesn't work on the base trains. That's that's Im implemented in the, um, power, in the uh, enhancement pack. To be fair, I, I wanted the class 323 enhancement pack, and my goal is to get the 323. The um, Alan Thompson sim have got a free uh, sound patch out for the 323, but in order to get that, you've got to have the 390 and the 350, I think. So I've now got the 390 one, but to get the 350 one, you've got to have the base train. So it just kind of... You know with train sim, you buy one thing, then you need another thing to make it work, and it just gets really, really expensive really quickly. So, yeah, just stuck stuck with the 390 for now. So, will it let me hold it? Will it let me hold it 110? Is that going to hold me there? No, it's not. Can't see if the light's on or not. There you go. That, I think that's on. Oscar, I'm currently 16 at sixth form and interested in the railway industry and wanting to become a train driver. What job roles are best for starting in the railway industry? That's entirely up to you on, on what career path you want to say. My only thing would be... Um, make sure you get a job with a company that actually employs train drivers uh, for example if you went and got a job with um, say an engineering company a track company that don't employ train drivers the issue you would then have is you wouldn't be able to apply internally to become a train driver so it's best to get a job with a train operating company if you're interested in um, freight work then apply to become a freight shunter and then onto a freight driver in terms of passenger work I would honestly I would start off on the platforms and then go into, you know, you've got sort of two options, and you can go on train staff, i.e. conduct a train manager, um, or you can go depot shunting staff. That is, uh, that's entirely up to you. Why am I not accelerating?
There we go. I thought when you went into neutral, it knocked the speed set off, but apparently not. Apparently, you've got to manually press it. Bagel Bomb. Hi, Deborah. I caught your live stream at last. Been watching your videos and loving them. Hope everyone is having a great day. Thank you very much, bud. Great to have you here. Bassett's Trains. Have you ever driven 66779? I'll be honest with you, Bassett's Trains. I don't... Um, and I probably should. I don't write down the numbers of all the ones that I've driven. There's a good possibility that I have because it's a GB one, so uh, so I probably have. Right, coming up to the 125. Coventry is 49 miles away. Oh, I'm going to whack my speed set on once we get up there. There we go. Beautiful. So let's jump into Discord server, see what you lovely people have been posting over there. 66s, 313s, and what looks like a rail grinder on the right there. I've never been on a rail grinder, but I um I followed one once. <laughs> that's a that's a story. I thought I followed one that had set fire to the track. I don't know if I'm allowed to tell that story. Might, might be too sensitive still. Gareth Edwards, evening all. Sorry to jump on at high speed. Uh, CB Trains, have you driven the Evening Star BR Green? Yes, I've definitely driven that one. Uh, Stephen Lees, have you ever been on the Midland Main Line? Only as far as St Albans. Um, I cabbed a 700 up to St Albans on a route learning trip. Right, uh, 75 to the right. We're not turning off because we would have had flashing yellows by now. Sim Aviation bought the AP Class 156. Very expensive, but it's amazing. George, are freight shunters the people you typically see driving a class 08? Yeah, it depends on the uh, the yard and the company, George. So the shunters are the ground staff, the people that actually go in and couple the trains up and uncouple them and do the brake tests and pull the points and kind of all the groundwork and stuff. In some yards, the shunters will also be trained to drive and they'll, they'll drive uh, pilot engines or whatever locomotives need to be driven. So... Um, yeah, it just depends on your individual company and, and the individual yard you're working at. Milton Keynes! So we done a run out of Milton Keynes. We've done Milton Keynes down to... Um, where did we go? Milton Keynes down to London Euston on the 350 uh, in the last stream. Last week? Week before? Southeastern Trainspot. Hi, Richard. How do I post pictures for locomotive location delivery? You can send them in via my social media channels, which are on the screen now, or you can drop them to me on the Discord server. I've got quite a few at the moment, and not much time to do many streams, so you might be waiting a little while before I can get it on. Monty Burns Gaming. What train and route do you drive in real life? So my real life... Uh, traction knowledge consists uh, currently of the class 66, the class 69, the class 73, and the class 73-9s. And my route knowledge is uh, Kent, Sussex, and parts of Hampshire. Kent, Sussex, Surrey, parts of Hampshire. So Brighton Main Line, most of the southern network, quite a lot of the southeastern network, and the southwestern network down to Southampton Western Docks, which is where I'm going tomorrow, incidentally. Four Yankee one nine six Yankee eight three if anybody's about. Uh, Big Will, will you pass rugby and Nuneaton in game? Yes. Sim Aviation, that's a pretty good question. Do you prefer trains for combined power brake handle or separate power and brake handles? I prefer separate ones, to be completely honest with you. I, 
I don't know, there's something, there's something quite nice about having two handles instead of one. Uh, Davidoff and Richard the Train Spotter and more. I've got to go out after the stream to Tesco's. Other supermarkets are available. And buy a World Book Day costume for my son. So uh, unfortunately, I will not have time to jump into the chat. Uh, Theodore, do you mean the map of the routes I sign, or do you mean the map of the route of the, the route we're driving on trains in? Uh, CP trains, I don't know what I'm doing on Saturday yet. I am scheduled to be working uh, de-icing services, but they've been cancelled this... Well, part... Some of them have been cancelled this week because the weather's uh, relatively warm, so it's going to be a case of sort of just waiting to see for Saturday at the moment. Uh, 156 Andrew, driven a class 37. I've route conducted on 37, but I've not driven a 37. I like 37s as a locomotive. They're nice and noisy, and they look good and they sound good. But after you've been on sat on one for a good few hours on a shift, they're not particularly comfortable. Yeah, Monty Burns at the moment, diesel freight locos. I'm a freight driver at the moment. I used to be a passenger driver. Uh, when I was driving passenger trains, I was signing the 375s, 377s um, as a mainline driver. I also signed as a shunt driver, 465s, uh, 376s and 395s and 466s. Uh, OJB Railworks, hi Richard, I tried driving the Avanti Pendolino a lot, but I cannot keep up with the AWS warnings and don't understand how to cancel some of them, so the train keeps stopping. Uh, Q cancels the AWS warnings. I wonder if you're talking about the TASS warnings though, I'm not sure what the button is to cancel those ones. So 35 miles to Coventry. ETA 18, 20 and 25 seconds, you guys, oh you can just about see that, um, so we're looking at being there more or less on time, I'm going to knock my speed set off, so is that on or off at the moment, that's definitely got to be off now because I've gone into brake, surely that resets it. I want to hold at 125. Let's see if we can uh, <laughs> guarantee a right time arrival. So I think the line to our right down there, I think that's known as the bird's cage or the bird's nest or something like that. I believe that goes round the right and up towards Northampton. Bassis 86 trains do the Southwestern Mainline on Train Sim 2022. That is another one that is on my list to buy. I actually already have the enhancement pack for the 450. So all I need to do is get the base route. The reason I've got the enhancement pack for the 450 is because you needed it to get the sounds for the 700. So all I've got to do is buy the base route. But yeah, that's one I'd definitely like to get. Uh, 156 Andrew, Richard, if you came to like a yellow signal, how many seconds do you to react to the yellow signal? So the AWS on the um, on the standard TPWS, the AWS indication, you get 2.7 seconds to acknowledge it. On the Mark IV TPWS, Mark IV TPWS is the one where you put the key on and you get the voice that says TPWS and AWS operational. If it says that, it's a Mark IV. You get 2.7 seconds on your first warning. And then on your second warning, I think that drops to 1.8. But I would need to double check that. So it's not long at all. Big Will, I would prefer separate brake and throttle handles because at least you have to do is pull the handles all back with combined. You need to put it in the middle, so specific. 
Yeah, you can you can feel it pretty well, Big Wheel. To be fair, because the um, on the three seven five, for example, if you're going from brake to power, there's a little kind of uh, notch to the left. So if you pull the controller all the way straight back, it will stop in the neutral position. To get it into power, you've kind of got to lift it back and then sort of pull it. There's a little notch in it, but yeah, you can you can feel the positions quite nicely. George, I don't run trains into the Asheville Yard, but I drive the trains on the southern end of that journey. Oscar, so many differences. <laughs> so many differences in the way you, you drive them. Um, probably too many for me to talk about here, but little things like everything takes longer to react, the power takes longer to come in, the brakes take longer to come off and come come on and come off. And the way you handle the train is just completely different. OJB Railworks. Richard, what GCSEs did you need to start your job and did you have to do a lot of training? So when I started the entry requirement was five GCSEs um, and you must have had maths and English included with that. The yeah, you get a lot of training for every job role you do. So I started on the, on the platforms, and you know even for that you sort of you do classroom based training for your train dispatch and and bits and bobs like that, and then you sort of do on the job training. And then I went into shunting again, more training courses, then into driving, more training for that. So there there is a lot of training involved, but the the training on the railway, in my experience, has always been very very good. Right, there's the 120. We're doing well. Bassett's 86 train, 66 or 69s. What is better to drive? Let's get some brake in, a little bit of speeding going on. Um, I think I've made my opinions on the 69s quite clear. I'll put a declaration on the screen first. Uh, from a driver's perspective, I am not a fan of the 69. So yeah, 66 is all the way, if, it, if I've got a choice between the two. Monty Burns Gaming, do you like pacer trains? <laughs> I, I did like pacers, but that's probably because I never had to ride on them. I think that's the only reason I like them. Right, back up to 125. 156 Andrew, the top speed of a pender. I believe it's 140, but the line was never cleared for 140 operations. Uh, if memory serves me correctly, the highest speed you're allowed to run with line side signalling is 125. I think any faster than that, you've got to have in cab signalling. I know on the. Many, many years ago on the East Coast Main Line, they trialled. Um, flashing green signals to allow 140 mile an hour operation. Come on, come on. Yeah, they, they try on flashing green signals to allow 140 mile an hour signals. So if you had a green, I think you were limited to line speed. If you had a flashing green, you were allowed to do 140. And that was when the uh, 225 sets come out, the class 91s. But that, that never took off. I'm not quite sure why. I'm not. I, I should probably do a bit more reading up on that. Ethan, hello from the Isle of Grain. What a lovely place that is. Uh, Kieran Penny is a three ninety an EMU. Is indeed electrical multiple unit. Electric multiple unit. Bass is 86 train, 73 or 66 is 73 any day of the week. Most, 73 most days of the week. <laughs> Sim Aviation, the 66 cab looks very much like American Locos, no doubt since it's Canadian, but if built, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, you're correct indeed. They were built it 
I want to say they were built in the States, in Chicago kind of area. But yeah, they're definitely American. Uh, George, the reason flashing green let you go faster is because you then have um, an extra signal for braking distance. So, if you're running on greens and the signal wants to stop you, you'll get green, two yellows, one yellow, red. If you're running at 140, you potentially haven't got enough room to stop. So you'd have the flashing green, which would authorise you to 140. And then if the signalman wants to stop you, you get flashing green, green, two yellows, one yellow, red. So that extra signalling section gives you a bit more braking time from the higher speed. Right, 110 coming out, 18 miles to Coventry. Harry Strange, hi Richard, how has your start to the week been? Yeah, been off work today, Harry's Strange, so it's been good, it's been good today. That's the TASS system kicking off. Have I tripped it? Is it going to stop me or can I get out of it? Ooh. <laughs> nearly, nearly. Uh, George, yeah, the Eurostar trains on the um, East Coast mainline, there was the White Rose sets that GNER had. Uh, Mesa's mainline and Roblox got to go by. Thanks for joining us, bud. It's 110 up to 125. Big Will, what does a flashing single yellow mean? So, flashing signals basically tell you you're taking the highest speed diverging route at a junction. So, say you're coming up to a junction and you need to branch off. Say the speed over the junction is. The speed on the main line is 100, the speed over the junction is 70, for argument's sake. You need to know, before you get to that junction, what route you're taking. You need to know whether you're being wrong routed. You know, you need, you need to know if you're going straight or not going right. So, one method of doing that is the signalman will check you down before the junction. So you'll get two yellows, one yellow. You get checked down onto the junction signal, then you'll get your route indicator. But that's a very slow way of working, because you've got to slow all the trains down. So what you'll tend to have is you have what they call flashing yellows or flashing um, flashing signals. So two flashing yellows, one flashing yellow, then you'll get a single yellow with a route indicator. So the flashing yellows basically tell you that the route has been set for you to take the diverging route. So you, you know that you haven't been wrong routed. Right, 13 miles to Coventry, keeping an eye on that. Train spot from Berkshire. Deborah, how did the pacer get into Easter Yard in one of your train spotting videos when you say pacers cannot run over a third route electrified line? I believe that train come off of the Chandler's Ford Romsey branch, which is not electrified, and it was done late at night and the traction current had to be isolated for that move to happen. Um, someone will be able to confirm or deny that, but I'm 99% sure that's what happened. Yeah, 156 Andrew, GNR certainly did have a 373. Are you knocking me out for speeding? You keep no, I think we're alright. I think we we're just about alright. Dad Rao, please check Discord, let's have a little look. Hey, there's me at Shalford on a uh, route learning trip. Route learning trip on a route that I still don't sign. And of course the 769 power changeover markers there. Oh, 
Oh, crazy place. Debra, 66 was, were built in London, Ontario, Canada. Oh, okay. The Angel of Crew, Debra, the signals we see in game, are they there in real life? Uh, on the routes that I sign, I would say the signals in the game are, are pretty much correct, yes. There's a couple that are, that are not necessarily the right type of signal or show the correct indications, but they are, they are normally pretty good for the routes that I sign. Yeah, George, poor soul that had to drive that down from up north. Right, eight miles to Coventry. I think you've all probably got this one, but let's... Uh... Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. Uh, ZLD, ZLD, 769 is overhead or third rail. I believe they are... Uh, tri mode, so they are third rail overhead and they have a diesel engine on them as well. I believe they are the first type of tri mode train that we have. Let's play okay. locomotive livery location. Say, so, dear, you are in with number eight, my friend. I think, I think, to be fair, everybody's already nailed this. I think everybody's already nailed this. Kieran Penny, what happened to GNER? Uh, I believe they lost the franchise and that, that was the end of that. I used to really like their blue livery as well. That was a nice livery. Coventry Sprott says it's Watford Junction. London North Western Cross 319. X Thames Inc. Livery, Watford Junction, says Clark. 319 at Watford Junction, 156 Andrew. I'm guessing we'll see GWF 769s on the Portsmouth to Cardiff routes. And yeah, quite possibly, George. Um, I know they're certainly going to be on the North Downs route, Gatwick to Reading. Um, parts of that route are third rail sort of through Guildford and down from Redhill to uh, Gatwick, so a sort of good place for them to be. I guess that, yeah, Portsmouth as well, through to um, through to Southampton's all third round, isn't it? So, yeah. Right, I'm going to start getting a little bit of break in for Coventry. I'm not going to overshoot Coventry. <laughs> Uh, Kieran, I believe the issue with paces on third rail is where they're so bouncy and the suspension is absolutely terrible. It's possible for them to bottom out and make contact with the third rail and blow all the substations. There was an issue with HSTs that, that certain HSTs could do that as well. Right, we're still a little way out. Um... I don't want to slow down too much because I want to try and be on time and get a half decent score. Uh, OJB Railworks, how do you live stream straight to your screen? Uh, what do you mean, bud? Sim Aviation, what is the longest route in Train Sim 2022? I think if you've got the complete West Coast line, I, th I think London Euston to Glasgow is modelled in full. So I would say it's probably that. Right, uh, I'm probably going to get a little bit more braking. We're about a mile out, so... I don't want to come in too slow and lose too much time, though. That is certainly the key thing. That's slowing down quite well. That's that's not too bad. We'll take that at the moment. Hello, 350. Hello. 
Oh, like, how do you live stream? What's happening on your screen? So I, I, I'm using a piece of software called Streamlabs to capture the screen. Uh, capture my screen, and that kind of sends it out to YouTube. So it's, it's pretty easy to set up. So if you've got a YouTube Creators account, if you press Go Live and then download the... Um, you can download the Streamlabs software. And then you just kind of press go live on it and it'll connect to your YouTube account. It, it's it's pretty simple to set up. Right, we're going to try really hard not to overrun. We are almost on... For Avanti West Coast, we are on time. I have been to Coventry, actually. I went to Coventry with Mumrail, who's sitting next to me. Do you remember when we went to Coventry? She doesn't. It was to do with the tree incident. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <Of course. laughs> right, are we stopping here or further down? 911 VT. So we want to stop there. That means all the platform markings for the zones are in completely the wrong place now. Hey, <laughs> we managed to stop at Coventry. May have been where I took the thumbnail from. So let's jump into the Discord server, see if you guys have been posting anything in there today. Nothing new in there at the moment, but if you do want to join our Discord server, you're more than welcome to do so. There is a link in the description below, and we are posting pictures in the live stream pictures section. Loading a Coventry. Coventry spotter, I live in Coventry. 200 points for timelessness, timeliness. Uh, Joseph Adams, hello, welcome to the stream. Uh, Kieran, I believe, don't quote me on this, but I believe that's covered by two drivers. So I've got no guards indication at all, but it's come up Birmingham International Platform 3, so I'm guessing uh, we're good to go. We've got a green. I've saved it just in case. Yeah, Kieran, I believe there's one driver takes it as far as Preston, and another driver takes it Preston to Glasgow. Um, yes, yeah, so it's quite a lot of route knowledge. Right, we are off. We're good for 75. Birmingham International in 10 miles. So guys, I think that everybody has got our locomotive location livery. Let's there. play locomotive livery location. So yeah, I think I think nearly everyone's everyone's kind of got this right today. We'll have a reveal. That is indeed Watford Junction, and that is. Look, I've even tried. If you look on the picture, I've even tried to hide the number. That is a 319 in the um, X Thames Link livery at Watford Junction. So well done to everyone who got that right. And I do apologise, I am really sorry to the person who sent that in. Unfortunately, I can't remember who sent it in. Because I uh, I set that picture up a couple of weeks ago for a previous stream. We didn't end up, ended up not using it. So I did kind of go through my messages and try and find who sent it in, but I was unable to. So if that is you, then please do shout out and uh, thank you very much. Uh, nationwide, unfortunately, with the way the stream set up, if I click on Discord, it's going to bug the game out. So if you, po if you post it again, though, bud, then um, hopefully we'll be able to see it. <laughs> Big wheel, dad rail. You had a moment of on time slash on platform rail. On time and on the platform. Right, we're good for 100, off to Birmingham. Let's jump over to Discord. 66s. Joshua R, Red Hill, Platform 0 and Platform 1. I never got when they re-signalled that why they didn't keep Platform 1 as a free platform. Not sure why they didn't do that. I believe it may have been to do with the, the signalling overlap, not enough overlap at the end of the platform between the signal and the junction. 
but I, I wouldn't mind putting some money on it that at some point in the future that'll be reconnected as a through line. 156 Andrew, yes, Birmingham New Street is indeed a major bottleneck. Oh no, I don't want to speed, I'll get a half decent score, come on. Back down to 100, there we go. Let's put my speed set on. I don't know whether I'm turning it on or turning it off. I think that looks like it's turned off for the way the speeds. Oh no, it might be okay. It might be okay. Uh, Nationwide just reposted it. Let's jump in. Oh, I'm not getting it there, bud. I'm not sure what's happening there. Are you posting it in the right bit, Nationwide? OJB Railworks, how do you turn webcam off? Uh, I turn mine off by pressing that little button there. I've got I've got a Stream Deck controller in me with lots of buttons programmed into it, so I can make I can make the stream do fancy things. Uh, I'll check again nationwide, see if that's come up now. No, nothing changed there, but I'm not sure why that's not showing up. It's kind of a bit funky the way I've got the um, Discord set up, unfortunately. 